This Airsoft GI TV episode is brought to you in part by G&G Armament and TSD Airsoft. Welcome back to Airsoft GI TV. My name is Tim and today we are going to answer the question, do tight board barrels really make a difference for your accuracy? I mean, come on, how much of a difference can it really make? We're talking about a couple one hundredth of a millimeter. That's like that much. You can't even see that with the naked eye. Some people swear by it. Some people say it's BS and leave their guns stuck. We're going to set the record straight right here and now with our own little experiment. We're going to take a KWA SR12, shoot it with a stock barrel, then we're going to swap the barrel out for an Airsoft GI 603 millimeter barrel, and then we're going to switch it out again for the Airsoft GI 6.01 millimeter barrel. That's kind of the product that inspired this video slash experiment, the new Airsoft GI 601 millimeter barrels. You can find them in the 6.01 millimeter barrel section of the internal upgrade section of AirsoftGI.com. Obviously, this is a science experiment, so we have to keep some of our control factors the same. Frank will be our shooter. He is the best shooter in the building. You've seen how he performs on the Airsoft GI Top Tech Challenge. Nailing that coin on the very first shot. He will be using a sled to help him shoot because we're testing the accuracy of the barrels, not his accuracy. We already know he can shoot. Obviously, we're keeping the gun the same. In the interest of time, though, each barrel will have its own hop-up fixed to it. It's a KWA 2GX hop-up with the 2GX bucking. So technically the hop-up and bucking are different, but they are the same kind from the same manufacturer. We'll be using TSD .28 gram BBs to offset some of the wind that might be out there because we're going to be shooting outside. The distance will be 25 yards, which is easily a little too close for um, an M16 length barrel, but hopefully it will give us a baseline for our science experiment. So everything is already set up in the office. We've already done most of the thinking and math for this. Let's get this party started. This is the grouping that was shot with the stock KWA barrel. You can see that most of the fire is concentrated here. Obviously, Frank's target was this diamond in the center. We did have one flyer hit the box, not even on the target. So this grouping, I don't think it's that bad for an airsoft gun at that distance. KWA does have a pretty good stock barrel, but this one flyer that didn't even hit the target does worry me a little bit. Surprisingly though, the Airsoft GI 6.03 millimeter tight bore barrel did not perform that much better. We do have a couple of more shots that are a little closer to the diamond. Decent consistency out here. We still had a flyer that didn't hit anywhere near the other shots, but at least it stayed on the target. Um, I don't know what the diameter is of the KWA barrel, but I would imagine it's not much tighter, or I'd imagine the 603 barrel is not much tighter than it. However, the results of the 601 barrel are very interesting, very consistent grouping. Most of the shots hit inside of this orange target right here, and again, obviously, Frank's target is the diamond in the center. So these are the results we were hoping for. It's nice to know that the money spent on a 601 millimeter barrel does go to good use. Wow, there is a noticeable difference in consistency with the 6.01 millimeter barrel versus the 603 and the stock KWA barrel. Happily, you don't have to break the bank these days to have a 6.01 millimeter barrel. The Airsoft GI 6.01 barrels are only $10 more than their 603 counterparts. So let's just say the 603 M4 length barrel is 25 bucks. The 601 is only $35. You don't have to spend 50, 60, in some cases $75 or more on a 6.01 millimeter type of barrel. Barrel, we have everything you need right here at Airsoft GI. 
Check out all of the Type 4 barrels on our website. Now the question is answered. I guess it is true that the 601 millimeter barrel does make a difference for your accuracy. I'll be honest, I was skeptical. I have 601 barrels, or I have Type 4 barrels in my gun. Not a 601 because I didn't think it made a difference, but now that I know they perform really well and they're so affordable, I might just get some. Tim is currently filming a video right behind me. <laughs> Type 4 barrels are the subject. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> do it. I don't think I want to. Just do it. Alright. Oops. Post oh. it. Too late. <laughs> Twitter. What's up, Airsoft GITV? My name is Tim, and today we're going to answer a question. And that question is... Can I have some of your soda? Mm-hmm. Or water? Fantastic. Pop my cherry? No, I don't want to pop your cherry in my mouth. Cherry. Real cherry. What were you thinking? Ew. <laughs> Do your laugh. I'm not the full. Dude, every time I bring a bottle of water into this building, I never can find it again. But Brandon always has the same friggin' bottle of water on his desk all the time. He never loses his water bottle. So I don't go anywhere. Alright, I'm going anywhere. How many times I've done this take? Mm, mm. <coughs> Everyone get your burps out now. Mm. <coughs> 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 All right, this is the one. This is it. This is it. This no, this is it. This this is it. Again, dynamo. Chill. <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? Oh, I guess so. <laughs>